Well, let's start talking about Descartes. Um, this is generally accepted, Descartes' thought, René Descartes, French thinker, 17th century, 1600s. Uh, he's generally thought to be the first truly modern philosophical thinker. And, uh, I think that, that is true, actually. That's just my opinion. But, uh, but as we'll see, um, there are certain very modern uh, concerns in his work that seem to be very much a part of the scientific revolution, the political revolution, the whole change in thought that happened in European cultures uh, after the Renaissance very forward-looking, very contemporary, and, and, and there's a part of his work that is very similar to the kind of work that Anselm and Aquinas were doing, having to do with proving the existence of God and the concerns about religion and things like that. So uh, while he is definitely, his work marks a departure from the ancient and medieval thought, uh, there's no doubt that he is also very much within the framework of ancient and medieval thought. Uh, but what is what am I saying that's truly modern about his work? Well, here we really can no longer ignore the other big subject of this class, which is epistemology or theory of knowledge. Descartes, if he's remembered for one thing in philosophy, it is his concern with the um, with the uh, issue of certainty, certainty knowledge. In trying to <coughs> think of uh, you know, how we can divide off those opinions that we have about the way the world is from what we truly know uh, about the world and looking for methods for, for figuring out which is which. We have plenty of opinions and, and oftentimes we think we know a lot of things which, uh, upon further review, turn out to be wrong. Uh, I'm reminded of uh, Socrates' advice in the Phaedo to avoid mythology, hatred of argument, because we do have that experience of being defeated intellectually, of somehow believing something to be true, which turns out not to be true. That is very much a concern of Descartes. Uh, and he is certainly, in a way, responding to the culture of the Middle Ages, the traditional European culture. And he is, uh, if anything, is uh, rejecting in that culture the uh, reverence for authority. Now, as we see in Anselm and Aquinas, they would deal with questions openly and reasonably. Uh, neither of them thought it was sufficient to simply say, well, of course God exists, the Bible tells us so, or of course God exists, uh, God has revealed himself to us in different ways in, in human history. Um, they didn't think that was sufficient because they, although they believed those things as a matter of faith, both of them, and this is especially clear in Thomas's work, regarded themselves as creatures that were also given reason by God. They were created by God and certain truths were revealed by God directly to mankind, and, and that was connected with, uh, with faith, but that they were also given reason and sensation and all the things that we use to discover truth or try to discover truth in the world. So they certainly thought that God meant them to use their mind to ask questions, uh, to try to know him not only through faith but also, also through reason. But we also see that, for instance, in Thomas's uh, articles, there's always uh, an on the contrary. And that's the part where we saw that he cites authority. Uh, the Bible, other church fathers, uh, thinkers, theologians, uh, ancient philosophers like Plato and Aristotle, who had great authority, of course, in, in his culture. Uh, and Descartes, uh, you might say, is uh, questioning all the authorities and looking for a, an authority that each one of us can find irrespective of whether we accept this authority or that authority in terms of telling us what is true. That is, we see that the, at least the way he tells the story in the meditations, that the key experience for him was realizing how much he had accepted in his education 
solely on the basis of authority. And that to take responsibility for himself and his thought, he would have to think through the questions that he had not thought through. That he would have to critically examine the knowledge that he thought he had and that to be a responsible human being, to be a responsible rational creature, meant uh, to look for the basis of one's thought and not simply accept things on the basis of one's faith and authority. It's a very fine line that he walks, as we'll see. Uh, but if we're holding one thing in mind in the meditation, it is the looking for a different sort of authority, looking for a universal, impersonal, uh, and secular non-religious basis for our beliefs about the world.